Hey guys and welcome to my channel Scuba Travel and Adventure and as promised in my previous video that I that I had a dive at Forget Me Not uh, I will go over my scuba gear that I am using here diving in Canada in a cold climate and I dive uh, summer and winter quite often I gotta say I'm not an instructor so don't expect uh, any hints or tips i will just go over the equipment that i use that i have tested and uh, i did use a different gear before uh, over the years i decided to go that way not the other way if you are planning to bash this video i'm totally okay with that um, like i said i've been asked a question how do i stay warm underwater and for such a long time sometimes even the co-workers approaching me how do i dive in the winter and how do i stay warm so i will show you all the gear pieces that i use i will go over each piece of equipment and hopefully that's gonna help you when you are on a market for uh, quality dive gear so i will go step by step and we will start with the uh, base layer then we'll go over the thermal and dry suit um, my harness bcd harness for side mount and uh, regulators scuba mask fins dive computers and so on i showed you in that previous video that i link over here uh, how is that looking on me unfortunately today the weather is not good enough to to do this video even outside because it's uh, pretty much the snowstorm it got cold overnight yesterday i was diving and today um, the weather is not even good enough to, good enough to roll the video outside so i decided to do it in the comfort of my home so starting with that base layer um, the base layer is uh, anything similar what you would use for hiking or skiing in my case i am using under armor uh, base layer which is uh, really nice and comfortable as well it's really nice warmth protection for the first layer under your uh, thermal and so this is the shirt second piece is the same product under armor long jones the model is uh, cold gear and uh, made by Under Armour. For my feet, depends if it's a summer or winter, I will use two different types of socks. Um, if I'm diving just in the summer here in Alberta in a cold water, still in the summer, the warmest you get probably is about eight degrees, uh, eight, nine degrees at its best and in the winter the temperature can drop all the way down to one or two degrees just before freezing point and when we do ice diving it gets quite cold so i'm using two pairs of socks and the first layer of socks i will use merino wool and over that i will use my woolen socks so the next piece of equipment is my thermal made by santi Santi is a Polish company. They make just amazing products. Um, I was using different thermals before, but they were near as comfortable as this one. And the warmth is not even comparable. So uh, starting with uh, the design of this. Uh, so it is uh, made of a Tennisulin by 3M and uh, I wear extra large uh, BZ400 Extreme it performs extremely well under ice uh, in uh, winter conditions and the design of it is uh, top notch uh, under your uh, armpits you got a stretchy fabric and your sleeves just got a thin piece on the bottom with the little thumb lo thumb lock so when you're putting your gloves you don't even need those little rubber hoses i uh, doubt that, that will stay on and uh, it's perfect uh, it's got a couple nice pockets uh, as well it's got p valves and uh, when you look on the bar uh, on the back here it's uh, got nice stretchy fabric so it fits nicely around your waist and uh, it forms uh, it's comfortable to wear under the dry suit and uh, very solid zippers 
So there is your belt, uh, make it nice and uh, tight uh, uh, on your waist. Um, inside, you got a suspender, so it uh, stays on you pretty nicely as well. And uh, looking down on the bottom, you're looking at uh, under your feet, you can put it in so you can slip in your boots and nothing is running up when you're putting the, dr uh, when you're putting the dry suit on. Uh, excellent design and uh, it really, really keeps you warm. Uh, you will have no problem whatsoever. Um, there is also a heated version that uh, you can order. Um, my body is using that. It's, um, it's got a heater like hose for this one, so you can use a vest under that as well if you want to. But uh, I am okay for, uh, I can do like a minimum uh, 40 to 50 minutes in uh, icy cold water and uh, I have no problem, but some people, um, they get colder quicker so they will require a heated union. It's slightly more expensive and uh, th that one here also, uh, it's not a cheap, uh, it's not a cheap thermal, but it's worth every penny uh, when you're purchasing a top gear for the cold water. Um, it's a must to have, otherwise uh, the diving is not fun when you get cold in uh, 15, 20 minutes and you gotta come out and uh, staying warm in a cold water that's the key uh, as long as you can and uh, like i said i've i've even done dives in the winter way over an hour in this suit before i started coming out and i did not get cold uh on my under my body it's mostly my hands and feet uh, that will become cold first i really really like this uh, thermal so the next piece of equipment is the dry suit this is the, probably the most important piece of dive equipment uh, for cold water diving to stay dry. And again, in this case, it's the same manufacturer as my thermal. It's made by Santi and the model, the, the model of this dry suit is an E-Lite. So I did some modifications on this uh, dry suit because I did not buy it uh, custom order I bought it on sale so it wasn't really fitted to me because normally when you are ordering a Santi gear uh, they will custom made it to suit you so you give them your measurements uh, on a website you submit the forms and they'll make one uh, just for you for your weight for your height and uh, just a perfect design so we'll talk about this uh, dry suit so to start with we'll start at the top um, the original uh, seals uh, neck seal is a latex with a neoprene collar so you will stay uh, a little bit warmer on your neck because of that uh, neoprene collar and it's got a SciTech inflation valve and uh, and SciTech uh, dump valve so top quality valving on a dry suit and uh, if you are looking on the entry it's a front entry dry suit it comes with the double ykk zippers uh, really uh, and they're made out of plastic not out of steel um, my previous dry suit i was using white uh, catalyst 360 it wasn't uh, near as nice and comfortable as this dry suit here uh, and i also had some modification done on that one as well so double zipper it's nice and solid and again inside here when i pull the so you have your suspenders and uh, also they even include a waterproof pocket so when i'm diving uh, by myself uh, my car keys uh, can go in here and uh, they will stay dry so Santi equipment is uh, known for its quality. Uh, they don't make um, poor quality products. Everything inside you see is stitched and um, uh, glued on seals. So no leaks. Uh, I've, I've, I've have on this suit probably by now uh, close to 200 dives. And it performs excellent. We'll go down the bottom so 
you got your crotch strap and uh, this is flexible so you can adjust it when you flip it over to your um, waistline and your crotch strap will secure the dry suit to, to, that it fits really snug. I will put the card uh, on the video so you can see how well it fits. Um, going to the side on the legs you got two very large pockets and uh, with the velcro and uh, there's also a divider so in this pocket i just keep my knife uh, just in case uh, gotta be there and then there's a small zipper pocket so the pockets are designed uh, quite large so you can fit even like a dive reel or anything and it's got a drain uh, even a drain mesh so when you're coming out of the water all the water is gonna drain uh, through there uh, what I've also done to this dry suit I installed a Halcyum uh, P-Valve I'm not, I'm not sure about everybody else, but as soon as I get into the water, I gotta go. doesn't matter if I did it before I put the dry suit on, uh, to, uh, 10 minutes after I gotta go again. So P-valve for me is uh, mandatory. The knees, um, of course, when you're kneeling in the water, uh, putting your dive gear on or doing whatever, it's got really, really strong Kevlar pads. You don't feel them that uh, they're stiff. Uh, they're stiffer than the dry suit itself, but uh, they are um, a lifesaver to prevent the dry suit from being damaged. So it's a top quality. And what I have done, uh, I have changed the boots on the dry suit. The reason why I did that, first of all, the dry suit I bought was uh, one or two sizes too small, uh, the boots that came with, and they were much softer. I prefer uh, for the conditions that uh, we are diving in, that uh, the soles are a little bit harder because there's a lot of rocks uh, before you get into the water. I live uh, close to the mountains and most of the diving that we do is in the cold water mountain lakes and here in Alberta uh, most of the dives are either in at Lake Minnewanka or at Lake Waterton in Waterton National Park. And I did all the work myself. So I've, I'm a type of guy that will try to attempt to do all the work myself. And uh, I usually am able to accomplish everything. So I glued them on, uh, they, they look quite good actually. And the boots are solid. So another modification that I have done uh, to the dry suit, because uh, this dry suit in particular, came with the fixed uh, seals on uh, sleeves, but uh, I have installed uh, Cytec rings. This way I can attach my gloves and I can also quickly change the seals on, a, on the wrist. So, so the wrist seals are very easy to replace. Just pop the, or the ring from inside, put a new seal and you're good to go. Or even you can this way, if you, if you pop the seal on a dive, uh, you can dive with those gloves, using these gloves, uh, without any seals, as long as you put the gloves uh, before you get in. So they simply attached, uh, I had a different type of rings on my previous dry suit, they were just the push-in style, also by Cytec, but uh, those ones, they just, uh, you put them on and you just twist it on and uh, they stay fixed. This is the most common uh, dry suit glove. And this one here, actually, it's, uh, it has a built-in liner. Uh, it, uh, it works pretty well in uh, summer diving, so you don't need the uh, extra gloves underneath. Uh, you can just use it as it is. And in the winter, I have my thin gloves, uh, also uh, made out of um, merino wool, uh, really thin ones that uh, creates a second layer and uh, they go inside of those gloves. That's why they're a little bit larger. This way it, they fit nicely once I have it on with the second layer of my gloves. Looking at this dry suit, uh, the top quality, um, I do not regret this purchase. I was lucky enough to pay a fraction of the cost, uh, what it normally would cost me, because uh, I think uh, um, to purchase that here in Canada, you're looking probably close to $4,000, uh, slightly over if it's a custom made. Um, I managed to get one cheaper. It was uh, on the closeout sale. It wasn't my size, but I was able to modify it and uh, now it fits me perfectly.
so now since uh, I covered most of my exposure suit um, there's one more piece not to forget it's the hood I'm using a nine millimeter hood also made by Santi and uh, there's a couple different types uh, that you can order a different uh, finish on your neck uh, this one here it doesn't go really under I can put it under my uh, neoprene uh, seal uh, but uh, I usually just leave it outside and I have no problem and um, my head stays warm uh, underwater with uh, wearing this uh, dry suit hood the next piece of uh, dive equipment that I'm using is my side mount harness and in my case I am using uh, X-Deep uh, Stealth 2.0 that is the first generation and the new one is slightly different uh, what I like about this harness uh, at first it's a little bit hard uh, to set it up, uh, to tweak it up to the way you like it. But uh, once you have your bungees and the straps mounted uh, the, the way you want it, it becomes a really comfortable piece of the equipment. And uh, probably this is one of the most comfortable harnesses and uh, you can tweak it up uh, to your preference. So the main thing is uh, the the way it's designed, it's made out of a Kodura uh, fabric, which is really, really durable. And it has a weight pocket on your spine. So you have like a one, two, three, four, five pockets here for your weights. So for I'm using 38 pounds in total of weights. And um, it's got side pockets. I also have the bigger side pockets. Uh, if i want to use it uh, when i'm diving down south in mexico pretty much uh, all i need is I, my, uh, my my pockets are staying empty here and i just need a couple pounds here in a back and uh, a spine po uh, pouch uh, so additional weights i have added here you have your rings and what i have changed on my harness are the sliding rubber D-rings I put on the fixed uh, D-rings and I've got two so this one is um, the closer to the front when the tanks get uh, slightly lighter um, um, I'll move them over here and I'll start them at the far back and uh, you can still clip on your dive reels or, what's, or whatever to, the, to those other D-rings if you have to and so this is the the part one of the harness and of course you have your crotch strap i can link that to the video that i just included on a, on a card above or uh, i'll put also a link uh, down at the end of the video so you can click on it and uh, see how it uh, fits uh, if you are interested in, or if you are new to it because if you are a diver uh, side mount diver then and you most likely you're pretty familiar with it so the second piece of the harness is your bladder and uh, the bladder uh, kodura fabric uh, really durable you got your inflator hose never let me down with the salt water diving and everything but i do maintain my gear uh, myself i take it apart i clean it uh, pretty much uh, twice a year uh, since I'm diving uh, quite a bit, unfortunately not this year because of the coronavirus, um, everything was closed at the beginning of the year. And um, then this, uh, this year has been pretty much uh, uh, not as good as my previous years when I was diving. And uh, down on the bottom you have your dump valve. And uh, to put on the bladder it's pretty simple. You got uh, two bungee cords uh, that are wrapping around your chest and then one bungee cord that uh, wraps uh, down your crotch and uh, that's pretty much it so really streamlined gear and uh, i'm really happy with the performance really durable the main thing what i like it and when i went this way uh, with this uh, harness uh, when i'm diving down south in mexico it's very easy to pack it's very tiny comparing to the previous uh, back mount BCDs that I was using. I was using uh, Oceanic uh, BCD and uh, share with Avid. Also, I was using a 
uh, Zigo Ranger BCD and they were way bulkier this one fits pretty much you I can put all my dive gear when I'm going down south in a carry-on luggage so I don't even have to check that in uh, I have my dive gear with me and uh, some and some clothes also I can pack in all in one case and I'm good to dive uh, down south so this is another benefit of course all the weights are staying home um, I don't need them because usually you, when you're diving south uh, the dive operations will provide you with the weights so I flip it over here just so you can see the back of that uh, harness uh, you have your bottom plate and your top plate all the bungee cords are attached I did some modifications to it so and I put different uh, rings instead of the stock ones so I can attach my uh, my bungee cords so this way I'm not looking for them under uh, my pits uh, it's much easier to just grab it here and wrap it around the tank strong Kodura fabric uh, top quality product few in the market uh, the new new the new design is a little bit different it doesn't come apart uh, same as this unit here uh, the, the bladder is kind of sort of attached to the harness itself but it's also an excellent product uh, one of my dive buddies is using it uh, down here and uh, he's also pretty happy with it so the next piece of uh, my dive equipment is my scuba regulators side mount uh, regulators and in my case i am using uh, apex xtx50 side mount kit the reason why i chose this from my previous dive regulators the design and the durability and quality so the main feature of this regulators is the swivel turtle uh, so you can swivel the hose uh, however you need it's got four medium pressure ports and the fifth one on the side and the fifth one is for your side mount only when using it for a side mount uh, you can attach it to your suit and your harness um, bladder the reason another reason why i use these regulators so the first stage uh, uses dst first stage a unique overbalance uh, diaphragm design as the diver descends the overbalance uh, feature allows the medium pressure of gas in the hose to increase faster than the ambient pressure so the, the results the result is superior performance i have um, attached to my uh, first stages the transmitters a lot of people say it's not recommended for side mount or not even advised but since i don't do cave diving really unless i go for a cave dive down south in mexico uh, i like to have it uh, the pressure uh, it's much quicker to glance over the computer and see where you are and as a backup i still have attached my uh, hollis spgs more reasons why i like those i can service them pretty much myself um, i got all the tools for it i got the manuals i do the service myself i trust myself how i service those regulators uh, maybe one day i will make the video about it uh, some of you might be interested how it's done uh, there is not much stuff on it but uh, I take them apart uh, to pieces and I have service kits that I have purchased online and I can, as you see, my own certification, I put it on every time I service it so I know it's serviced properly and I can adjust it also to uh, all the pressures to the way I like it so they perform really well under ice and uh, I have no failures. So this is the right hand side uh, regulator and it's on a long hose and then uh, going into your second stage um, the mouthpiece uh, that comes with apex extremely comfortable uh, you get no jaw fatigue whatsoever then you have your regulation of pressure so you can adjust it and then uh, as you descend you have your open and close valve right there um, top quality regulators i use them for every dive doesn't matter if uh, i'm diving down south in mexico or 
here uh, diving in a cold water. There's a lot of different regulators and regulators uh, to me they should be number one piece of the equipment that you gotta spend probably the most money on as this is your life support. Um, there's no joke uh, to invest into the cheap ones then later you decide you want to do something more advanced and uh, you get the free flows on them and they don't perform as well as you want it to. So another point uh, what I should mention is the connection for your tank. Um, instead of yokes, uh, I don't like the yoke valves. There's too many issues with the seals leaking. Uh, with the DIN, it's uh, probably the most reliable connection on your uh, side mount or pretty much any any scuba gear uh, regulator uh, my preference uh, is always a din and um, quite often it's a struggle when you're traveling uh, you have to use the adapters in some cases i do not like them uh, they make it more bulky and there's more fail points what i call uh, versus just having a din attached to your tank and it's pretty much a sure thing they never failed me so for my fins I'm not using any fancy fins. Uh, those are probably most durable fins that I have ever had. Uh, I used to have those long fins, the split fins, nothing performed as good as these fins here. I, I would say they're quite heavy and uh, they are performing very well as well. You don't have to kick really hard to Move, get moving in the water. Really nice design. There are uh, Scuba Pro jet fins and the only thing I did on those I changed the original straps to the spring straps much easier to put them on and off. So yeah, they, they really do well and frog kick or any other kicks uh, when you they don't put any strain on your calves. At first maybe you will get a little bit uh, to get used to those because they are, like I said, quite heavy. Um, but when you're gonna dive uh, quite a bit, um, you will get used to it. Uh, even though I don't think I'm moving fast, I'm a slow diver. I like to take it easy in the water, but uh, quite often when I was diving south in Mexico, just a couple kicks and the guys with the long fins, they will be kicking much harder uh, to, to move the same speed as I gently move those fins. Uh, a really really good product very durable at the same time and the last but not least is my scuba mask i had a couple different masks uh, in my nine years of diving or even 10 years now uh, and this one is probably far the best uh, my previous one was genesis uh, and this one here is uh, atomic aquatic venom a really really good mask it's got a really nice and soft silicone seal. It, uh, it is a low volume mask. As the last piece of equipment I want to talk about is my Shearwater dive computers. And I use two of them. One of them is a backup, uh, that's just a Perdix. And the other one is a Shearwater Perdix AI with, that works with my transmitters. Um, the reason why I chose those, uh, I had quite a few different computers over the years. I had Oceanic, I had Sherwood, and uh, they were integrated as well. But uh, those ones are one of the better computers you can get. Uh, they are Canadian made. And uh, the reason why I chose them, uh, because they're super easy to read. Uh, you get a lot of information on the screen, uh, very easy to operate. You just got two touch buttons on each side and you can go through the different menus um, so one of the buttons goes through all the different menus and the other side uh, you can select or uh, in a dive you can select between your compass um, which is uh, compensated as well they are also very durable the battery that they're using is none of those crazy expensive batteries that you can't get anywhere they're simply using AA batteries and um, I use for Duracells and uh, they last for quite a few dives and very easy to change. You can change the battery uh, using a coin, open the compartment and slip, slip in the new battery. 
Um, they come with uh, two different straps. I'm using the rubber straps and the other one is sort of like an o-ring type. Uh, I tried them and I didn't like them. Those ones are really nice to adjust and easy to put on. Those are the computers I chose uh, at the end after going through a few of them. And they come with uh, great service from Sharewater. Um, I have dropped one of them and Sharewater uh, fixed it with no issues. Uh, I sent it back to them and they repaired it and they didn't even charge me for repairing the screen. So they applied the screen protectors on them automatically. So, but the, the time I dropped it, it um, the scuff was quite big and I was afraid that something might, might have been leaking. So before I went for another dive, I shipped it to Sherwater and in no time they sent me a, re um, a repaired uh, uh, computer. So here you can see the front screen and when you tap the button, it goes to a compass mode and then here, once you have connected the transmitters, they'll show you a pressure, your depth, average depth, and uh, gases that you're using. Another nice feature uh, from Sharewater is uh, you, they keep a very long dive log and everything can be uploaded to your smartphone and then sync with the cloud application, whether it's a Mac or a PC. You can uh, sync your dives and keep your dive lock all digital. So that uh, that's a no-brainer for me. I used to write my logbook and now I have everything stored on my phone, accessible at any time. They maintain the platform very well as well. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the gear that I'm using and maybe it's going to be helpful when you are on the market for scuba gear. And uh, if you like the content, don't forget to hit the like button. If you didn't like the content, hit the dislike button twice. Subscribe to my channel if you found value in it. And also check out my other scuba videos. Uh, I will link some on the end screens and cards. And at the same time, happy diving everyone and cheers.